Hi, my name is Vaibhav Katkade. I'm a senior product manager at AWS. And today I'm here to talk to you about how you can use Network Access Analyzer to identify cost optimization opportunities in your VPCs, as well as improve your security. So by default, your VPCs route traffic to AWS services like Amazon S3 over the public internet. This not only incurs you egress data transfer costs, but also data processing costs from intermediate components like NAT gateways. Instead, what you can do is configure your VPCs with VPC endpoints. This not only keeps traffic private on the AWS network, thereby improving your security, but also eliminates any data transfer or data processing costs to communicate with services like Amazon S3. You can use Network Access Analyzer to discover as well as verify that your subnets are routing traffic to AWS services using VPC endpoints, helping you improve your security as well as helping you save your costs. So let's see how you can do this. Here I've got a very simple VPC with a couple of private subnets where I've got a few network interfaces uh, where my workloads are running. And I've got a couple of public su uh, subnets with NAT gateways that route traffic over the internet gateways. And I'm looking for whether my private subnets are gonna route traffic to S3 over VPC endpoints or over the internet. So to run this analysis, I go to Network Manager, open Network Access Analyzer. So create Network Access Scope. And what I'm looking for here is any network interface in my VPCs. So that's essentially looking at all my workloads. And I'm looking at traffic that is destined to any of the Amazon S3 prefix lists. So here, uh, running a simple command, I can figure out this is the prefix list for Amazon S3. And I can plug it in here. And what I'm not interested in is if traffic is actually going through VPC endpoints that I, then I do not want to get uh, alerted about it. So in this exclusions, I'm going to exclude any traffic that is destined to VPC endpoints since that is uh, anyways private. So click next. This is the definition of what I'm looking for. Any source in my VPCs going to Amazon S3, the, the prefix list for it to see here. And I'm gonna exclude if the path is going over v, VPC endpoints. So let's run this analysis and see what we find. So my analysis is complete. And here I find that yes, I indeed do have network paths that originate from network interfaces in my account and are have destined to Amazon S3 that are not going through VPC endpoints. And if I look at these network paths, I can see that yes, they are actually going over NAT gateways and out to internet gateways. So this is something I wanna go into remediate. So what I can do is I can download the CSV and open it. And here I can find out which are the subnets that I need to go remediate. So what I do is I go back to my VPC console, go to VPC endpoints, say create an endpoint, for S3. And associated with my VPC or route tables. All right, so now that is successfully done, let me go back and rerun my analysis and see what I find. So my analysis is now complete and there were no more findings, which means all of my subnets are routing traffic to Amazon S3 using VPC endpoints and not over internet or internet gateways. So thanks for watching and hope you found this useful.